Hi, welcome to Storybook Moments channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's read aloud is going to be a fall themed read aloud with two Winnie the Pooh stories. Our first Winnie the Pooh story is called Pooh's Fall Harvest. It was a cool and crisp fall day. The leaves had just begun to change colors. Pooh and all of his friends gathered in Rabbit's garden. Hello, everyone, said Rabbit. Thank you for helping me with my harvest. Excuse me, Rabbit, said Pooh. We would love to help you with your hardest. But your hardest what? No, Pooh, said Rabbit. I said harvest, not hardest. It's fall harvest season. What is harvest season? asked Pooh. I only know winter, spring, summer, and fall. Fall is harvest season, said Christopher Robin. It's the time when fruits and vegetables in the garden become ripe. What does ripe mean? asked Roo. It means they are ready to eat, dear, said Kanga. How do we tell if they are ripe? asked Piglet. Look for the vegetables that look yummy, said Rabbit. They all look yummy, said Eeyore. Rabbit knelt down to look among the leaves. He saw a tiny squash. No, Eeyore, this one's too small. It has some more growing to do. Owl picked up a different squash. Not too big, not too little, he said. This one is ripe. That's right, Owl, said Rabbit. Rabbit, what about this apple, said Pooh. It looks yummy. Pooh sat on a branch. He was pointing to an apple on the branch above. Pooh reached for the apple. But he lost his balance and fell into Christopher Robin's arms. You had better leave the apple picking to me. Hoo 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 hoo, said Tigger with a laugh. Rabbit had lots of wonderful foods to be gathered. He had sweet potatoes, tomatoes, pumpkins, and corn. After all of it was collected, Rabbit said, I have more than enough food for this winter's storage, so I would like to invite you all to a harvest celebration. Everyone left so Rabbit could prepare. When they returned, a long table was covered with food. They each took a seat, except Rabbit, who stood at the head of the table. Thank you for helping me with the fall harvest, he said. You are wonderful friends. Another Winnie the Pooh story, Pooh's Pumpkin. One spring day, Pooh and Christopher Robin saw Rabbit planting seeds in his garden. Rabbit, asked Pooh, what are you planting? Pumpkin seeds, said Rabbit. I would like to grow a pumpkin too, said Pooh. A growing pumpkin needs special care, said Rabbit. I will take care of it, promised Pooh. Rabbit handed Pooh a seed. Pooh and Christopher Robin found a sunny spot near Pooh's house to plant the pumpkin seed. I will sit here and watch the pumpkin grow, said Pooh. But Pooh, Christopher Robin said, the pumpkin will not be ripe until next fall. That's a lot of sitting. My pumpkin needs special care, said Pooh, and that's just what I will give it. But first, I have to get something to eat. Pooh went into his house and gathered all of his honey pots. 
Then he went back outside and sat with his honey. He watched the spot where the seed was planted. He watched and ate and ate and watched, and spring turned into summer. In the middle of the summer, Piglet stopped by. What a pretty vine you are growing, Pooh, he said. Oh, but Piglet, said Pooh sadly, I wanted a pumpkin, not a vine. Pooh went on caring for the vine. At the end of the summer, a flower was on the vine. Pooh was looking at the flower when Owl stopped by. Hoo-hoo-hoo! Pooh, your flower looks just right. Keep up the good work, said Owl. Oh, but Owl, said Pooh sadly, I wanted a pumpkin, not a flower. Pooh, I will be happy to tell you what you are growing. You have a vine, you have a flower. A flower grows on a vine before there is a cucumber. You are growing a cucumber, Owl stated. Oh my, Pooh said. I wonder if cucumbers taste good with honey. Think, think, said Pooh to himself. Rabbit gave me a pumpkin seed, so it should grow into a pumpkin. I will keep caring for this plant and see what grows. Pooh went back to work, watching the plant and eating his honey. From time to time the ground seemed dry, and so he watered the plant. One day the air was cooler. The leaves were just beginning to change colors. Pooh had fallen asleep. He woke up with a start. Eeyore was standing over him. There's a green ball on your vine, said Eeyore. Oh, Eeyore, said Pooh sadly. I wanted a pumpkin, not a cucumber, and not a green ball. Oh, well, moaned Eeyore. I suppose we can find something to do with it, whatever it is. Days and weeks passed. The green ball grew bigger and bigger. Pooh's tummy was growing bigger and bigger, too. One morning, Pooh saw that a small part of the ball had turned orange. As the days went on, it became more and more orange. Then the air got cooler and the leaves fell from the trees, and on Pooh's vine was a huge orange pumpkin. Everyone gathered around Pooh and his pumpkin. They looked from Pooh to the pumpkin and from the pumpkin back to Pooh. That pumpkin looks just like your tummy, Pooh, laughed Tigger. Silly old bear, said Christopher Robin. You gave the pumpkin so much care that you grew along with it. Let's all carve the pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern, said Christopher Robin. Owl carved the eyes, Rabbit carved the nose, Piglet carved the mouth. Pooh's pumpkin was the best jack-o'-lantern in the hundred-acre wood. Well, that's all for now. If you'd like to hear more Winnie the Pooh stories, then please check the description below for a playlist of more Winnie the Pooh stories. And please don't forget to subscribe for more new stories every week. Thank you.